ladies and gentlemen, rookie Michael Carter is back. The Jets third year running back shone against the Carolina Panthers, so let's put on the All-22 and I'll show you why you should be excited about MC. Let's go. What's going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are back in the film room with another All-22 breakdown and today we're looking at some of Michael Carter's film. I am certain that the reacceleration and change of direction is finally back. That's what allowed Carter to be so successful in his rookie year. Now I know what you're thinking. The Jets have just signed Dalvin Cook for $7 million. There's no room for Carter. I think that move is more about insurance for Brees Hall, and Carter also brings something that no other back does on the Jets roster, and that's dynamism on third down. Let's jump into this film. First snap of the game against the Panthers. Have a look at number 32. Michael Carter, the change of direction in a phone booth, the jump cut and makes the first defender miss. What I love about this is he's following Lakin Tomlinson. That's his blocker, but there is congestion inside. Have a look at the jump cut. Michael Carter, the spring and change of direction in that left leg. And then have a look at this shake and bake. Ah, we're going to make that corner miss and get an extra three or four yards. This was a negative play potentially. And Michael Carter's vision, change of direction, and reacceleration turned this into a positive eight yard gain for the Jets. This is what was missing with the ankle injury last year. Look how quick and sharp those movements are. The second level defender never has a chance against Michael Carter. I have missed seeing this, and we are so lucky that it's back, because there's still a spot on this roster for MC. On this next play, we're going to see something a little bit different from the Jets. We're so accustomed to seeing them run these outside zone and wide zone type plays, here we just see power up the gut. Michael Carter trying to attack the A-gap, but there's one caveat. The linebacker does a fantastic job identifying the play and filling that gap. The right guard has no opportunity to climb. It's just too good. But Michael Carter, zoom, makes him miss with a spin move. This is what I'm talking about. Rewind to 2021, Michael Carter's rookie season. There wasn't a single first defender that could lay a hand on him. And it's because of these change of direction skills. Guys, this is freakish. The bounce, the lateral quickness, it is back. I said it, this is a run for no gain. This is a failed play because the linebackers made a great read. But no, Michael Carter says, I'm going to beat you one-on-one -on -one in a phone booth because I am too shifty. This makes me smile. I was so excited to break down this film because MC was one of my favorite Jets a couple of years ago. And if he's back, he brings another element to this offense. Again, it's about moving the chains, keeping the Jets in positive yardage. And Michael Carter is a stud at doing that. This time, Michael Carter and the Jets are running an iteration of wide zone windback. He's on the left-hand side of Zach Wilson out of shotgun. This is designed to go to the left-hand side of the screen. You're going to see a really nice block here from CJ Uzama, who crashes down and blocks Shaq Thompson in the hole. But have a look at the change of direction and the jump cut from Michael Carter. The spring in his legs, and then at the second level, we talked about it earlier, the reacceleration and ability to make someone miss. He reads the block and does a great job getting behind Alan Lazard and picking up an extra five yards. He is shifty, he is dynamic, and I have missed this so much. It was a joy to watch. Michael Carter at full speed, changing direction. There's no ankle injuries anymore. He's free and he looked really impressive. But then you also got the third down element of Michael Carter's game as well. This is just a little swing pass to the flat. It's a blown coverage. Zach Wilson out of shotgun gets the ball. Eyes go to the right spot. You can see the linebackers both hesitate because of the little sit route here from CJ Uzama. They don't pass it off. And Michael Carter's down the sideline. Very simple pitch and catch, but you can always rely on Michael Carter to be dynamic. He turns it into a 30-yard gain. I'm not showing you this because it's a fantastic route, but he gives you such confidence on third down over a guy like Ty Johnson or even Bam Knight. And this next play is where it really gets emphasized. Michael Carter, running a little sit himself out of shotgun, does a really nice job feeling the coverage and also the lane in between the defensive linemen. He knows that here the defensive tackle's got his arms up. He has to sit in a spot where Zach Wilson can find him. He does so, but instead of just turning his back, as this ball's coming, look how Michael Carter starts to turn and accelerate with the football. This is how you are a master at yards after catch, and this is why the 
the safety can't get in when he closes downfield. Once again, Michael Carter turns what should be a three or four yard gain into an eight or nine yarder. These are little things, but they're things that were missing last year from the Jets' offense and missing from Michael Carter's game. A nice little sit route, really nice feel in the throwing lane, and then that re-acceleration and ability to make the first guy miss. And the last thing we're going to look at is actually Michael Carter as a pass blocker. Third and short, you've got to have it here. I'm not going to say this is perfect, but Michael Carter is brave and square in the hole. I hate it when running backs aren't willing to put their body on the line. He sees Shaq Thompson coming and he makes good square contact and stonewalls him straight away. Now, does Michael Carter's base get a little skinny right here and he loses power and balance? 100%. Look what happens afterwards. He gets thrown away by Shaq Thompson. But it's about having square shoulders and making good contact at the line of scrimmage so that Zach Wilson has time to find his tight end underneath on the sit. Very little thing. Again, it's not perfect, but Michael Carter is not olaying this block. He's standing in the hole and he's making sure the linebacker feels him and does a nice job giving Zach Wilson time. So guys, that's why I was extremely excited by Michael Carter's performance against the Panthers. There was the change of direction, making the first man miss. He was there as a pass catcher. Even though Dalvin's coming in, Michael Carter can still cook.